a tree provides organization with an identity as a service solution or identity and access management solution for all their apps across cloud and on premises azure safeguards users credentials by enforcing strong authentication and conditional access policy it efficiently manages your identities by ensuring that the right people have the right access to the right resource let us take a scenario where the user wants to connect to the server what the user does is rather than sending the credential to the server it sends it to the ad and Buys the token and finds its author authorized own authorized only then it allows you to access. It also offers multi-factor authentication that is MFA to help protect the user from cybersecurity attack. The other features is like single sign-on that is SSO. a uh, then is uh, is an author uh, authentication method which allows the user to sign in using one set set of credential to multiple independent software system which means a user does not have to sign in to every application with different credential rather use single cred credential to sign in all the application that they use so now we usually have a confusion between like azure ad that is azure Di active directory or the active directory so what is azure active directory azure active directory is not a not simply a cloud version of active directory but they have many features active directory is great at managing traditional on premises infra infrastructure and applications Azure Active Directory is great in managing user access to cloud application. In AD, organization creates external user manually as regular user, but in Azure AD, it provides a special class of identity to support external identity. It also manages the link to the external user identity. to make sure they are valid the next difference is the active directory does not support saas that is software as an application apps and requires a federation system such as adfs that is active directory federation service but in azure active directory internet based service and application like office 365 or uh, azure services and third party so uh, saas that is software uh, as a service the service application can be integrated in active directory most on premises apps use lightweight directory access protocol a uh, windows integrated authentication like uh, ntlm or kerberos or header based authentication to control access to user on the other hand azure ad can provide access to these types of on premises app using azure ad that is azure active directory application like proxy agent running on premises now we will see azure ad plans aad plan we have Uh, azure ad uh, active directory free plans and basic plan which has similar features features such as we have 10 users or apps then we have three basic security reports and then we have self service password reset but these features are also same in aad premium 1 and aad premium 2 but in aad premium one we have extra features like multi factor authentication that is mfa then connect healthy and then cloud discovery 
but on that in premium 2 we have more features known as pim that is privileged identity management and identity protection so what is multi factor authentication it is a two step verification approach it is a process besides sending credentials like a uh, username and password you also have to send an additional information like a text from a text message from a phone or uh, click on the notification or uh, you get otps so now what you have here is user risk policy user risk policy identifies and responds to respond to the user account that may have compromise next thing we have over here is sign in risk policy sign in risk policy identifies the suspicious sign in attempts it prompts the user to provide additional forms of verification using azure active directory that is mfa so now we have another feature now we'll see uh in the next module about the pim pam and pom that is p i m p a m and p a w